from Card Making Magic. All these cards are created with the letterpress technique and I've had several emails asking me what this technique is and so in this video I'm going to show you how to get this look. And this technique can be used on any embossing folders that you have in your stash. There's a Coach Your Creations one, that's a Craft Concepts one, there's a Cuttlebug one, and this is a wall effect and I don't really know who made that. And of course you can use your Spellbinders, Embossabilities or the new 3D folders that Spellbinders have brought out. Now to show you the technique I'm using the Spellbinders Embossabilities folder. These are double-sided folders. You have one pattern there, and then if you turn it over and fold it the other way, you have another pattern on the other side. Now you can apply your ink with your blending tool, or the easiest way is to use um, a brayer. And I'm using the Big and Juicy ink pad. Now please don't store these on their end, or upside down because if you do all the ink will run to one side and you'll just end up with a with a muddy mess they may not look it but there are five different colors in that pad now if you look at your embossing folder you need to decide do you want the raised part to be white or do you want it to be colored now if you feel your pad your embossing folder you can feel the raised area now if you want the leaves to be white in that raised area then you need to ink the opposite side where the, the leaves go down where the pattern in your embossing folder goes down so all I'm going to do is just ink up the brayer and I'm going to make sure I've got lots of ink on it and I'm staying with the three colours that are on the right hand side. So now I'm going to turn it round because this is the, the deboss side and I'm just going to roll the brayer down the pad. And then to try and keep the colours separated I'm turning it round and I'm going the other way. Now once I've done that, I'm going to lay my card on top of that and close the folder. And then whichever die cutting machine you're using, you need to read the sandwich that's correct for your machine and you're going to run that through and emboss it. So once you've embossed it, you can take the card out and you can trim the edges and there is your card with the letterpress on it. Don't worry about it being on the leaves, it's, it's not a major disaster. You're going to try and not get it on the leaves, but please don't throw that away thinking that it's, it's spoiled. It's not. There are ways to disguise it. And then once you've done that, you're going to clean off your embossing folder with a baby wipe and dry it with a little bit of kitchen towel and that's it ready for using again next time. So we've inked the opposite side to get the white leaves. Now I'm going to take that out because now I want the leaves to be coloured. So again feel the folder and this now is the side with the raised leaves on it. This is the side now that I'm going to ink. So again, with the brayer, I'm just going to run it down the folder. And again, I'm just going to turn it around to keep the colours separated. And then I'm going to pop my piece of card in there. And I'm going to close the folder 
and then I'm going to emboss this through the, the Grand Calibre. So once it's been embossed, you're going to open your folder and there is the card with the leaves coloured. So there you have the two different effects. And just to recap, if you want the leaves to be white, then feel the board, feel the raised areas and ink up the opposite side. If you want the leaves to be coloured, then you're going to ink up the raised side. And then once you've done that, clean it off with your baby wipe and clean your brayer and just dry it with um, a piece of kitchen roll. So once you've decided which way you round you want to ink your card, you can then trim it down and you can add it to a piece of card that complements your colour scheme and you're now ready to add that to a card. Now on this one I've just rounded the corners off and if you look at this one which I've matted and layered onto some card there are a couple of mistakes in there where the ink's smudged. You also get full of ink. Now you can cover your mistakes by cutting yourself another panel to just hide the mistakes or you can do patching up. This is just a, a paper doily that I've, um, I've inked the edges of. I'm going to pop that down there. The sentiment will cover that little mistake there. The ribbon will cover that mistake there. And then I'm just going to pop in some butterflies along the card with some um, want to scrap bling to make the butterflies trails. And I'm just going to hide all the mistakes under the butterflies and that's one way to disguise the card. Now this backing has been created with the Seedling Nouveau uh, folder from Couture Creations and I've mounted it onto some matching um, backing card and I'm going to use this one which has the raised areas white. So I've also um, run through a large embossing folder some white card and I've matted that onto the same green card and I'm going to add this centre panel on some foam pads to the middle of that base layer. I'm just going to pop that in the middle just about there. Now what I've done is I have double layered some white and some pale green ribbon and that's going to sit in the middle of the card. And I've also cut myself um, a bow or made myself a bow and that's going to sit at the bottom of the card and in the middle of that I'm going to add a large pearl. Now I've added in some little um, decorative pins but you can use um, hat pins or decorated hat pins if you prefer and these are now for sale in my shop on the website on cardmakingmagic.com Now from the same green card I've cut myself a label and I'm going to add that to the front of the card and I have stamped and embossed a sentiment and I've just used some of the Want to Scrap Bling this is the, um, the frilly swirl and I've cut it up and I've used bits of it around the sentiment and again with foam pads, foam tape I'm just going to add that to the middle of the green panel And then what I'm going to do is cut this up a little bit more and I'm going to add in some pearly swirls just to fill the gaps on that centre panel. Now the corners looked a little bit too bare so I'm adding in some of the Want to Scrap Bling, some of the, the pearls and I've put the larger pearls outside, the smaller pearls inside. 
so I'm just going to add them into the corners so once the card is, is completed I have cut and embossed myself a back for the card I have created the A-frame and all I'm going to do is just glue this now which will hide the workings of the ribbons and I'm going to add that to that panel and that will be my card ready to send. So there you have a whole selection of cards, all beautiful and all done with the letterpress technique.